Brian Reamer, research scientist, MIT Age Lab, and associate director of the New England University Transportation Center. So we're, we're interested in trying to understand how people work with the different levels of automation in the car and how stress and arousal change as people are parking with what is really their first experience with some autonomous feature in the car. The dashboard here has eye tracking, facial recordings for uh, emotional coding, cameras here recording the forward scene, cameras behind us recording what is going on in the vehicle itself. The car here we have a, a fairly robust PC and a lot of firewire ports. We receive camera video. Physiology recording is done through this box right here. Heart rate, skin conductance. All of this being time synchronized together to try to provide an understanding of how the driver behaves in a real life driving situation on the roads around Boston. Okay. As we're approaching here, I'm going to push the button, uh, tell the system to search for a parking spot. Tell me when it found a spot. Tells me to pull forward to an appropriate spot, and then tells me to put the car in reverse and take my hands off. And the active park assist system takes over the steering, and I'm still responsible for the gas pedal and the brake. It steers me into the parking spot here. You can hear as I'm approaching the car behind me. I'm telling me to pull forward now. You can hear the front sensors so chime to back up a little more. Telling me to pull forward again, and telling me the park's finished up here.